Unfortunately, I don't play enough to unlock all the sweaty guns in Warzone. So all you M13 and Growl users, give me a chance! Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you enjoy watching our content, show us some love by liking the video and ring the bell to make sure you get notified whenever we drop new content. We appreciate you all. What's going on you guys? My name is Cisco and today we're going to be taking a look at the MCX Vertas by 6 Hour. Wait, we got this gun in like months ago. Why haven't we done a review on it sooner? Again, we sell out faster than we can restock them. Okay, so how's that our problem? Get off my back. Right off the bat, I do believe the MCX is a cool alternative to the M4, and it is a very meta gun in Call of Duty Warzone, also known as the M13. They call it the M13 because they couldn't afford the licensing. F in the chat, GG. The MCX is OEM by BFC, so you can expect high quality externals. The entire gun, including the flash hider, is made of metal. The only part that isn't metal is going to be the pistol grip, which is made of a high quality polymer. Right up top, we have a full monolithic upper rail system. But we do have the M-Lock handguard that does have a QD sling point on the right and left hand side of the gun. Going on to the receiver, we have the very beautiful trademarks from Six Hour, unlike Call of Duty. It does have ambidextrous controls being the magazine release, the selector switch, and the charging handle. At the end of the receiver, we do have two more QD sling points at the left and right hand side of the receiver. And then we're getting into the nice PDW stock that does have a wire sling loop here and two more QD sling points on the left and right hand side of the stock. There's so many sling options, so many holes to penetrate. It's awesome. Keep it PG, keep, keep it PG, yeah? What, what are you talking about? Keep it PG. What are you talking about? As expected from BFC, the MCX does include a functional mock bolt and bolt catch, so it makes adjusting the hop up so easy. As I've said numerous times in the video, the MCX is OEM by BFC, which means it's using the BFC Gen 2 Avalon gearbox, which does include the quick change spring system, the enhanced tappet plate, the enhanced piston, the inline MOSFET, and the Gucci Avalon motor. Which, if you do own a 416A5 or one of the Avalon series, it shoots exactly like that. Like all newer guns on the airsoft market, the MCX does include VFC's rotary saw hop-up unit. Well, it, not all airsoft guns include VFC's rotary saw hop-up unit, but they include a rotary saw hop-up unit. This gun does also include the standard inner barrel, which I would swap out for a tight bore, uh, probably the only upgrade you'll need to do, and rewire it to these, because to me it sucks. Honestly, I, I believe every gun should be rewired to Deans or just come out of the box with Deans because it's just a better plug, better connection, uh, you know, distributes the energy faster. There have been companies that have tried to do it and they stopped doing it because, because they think that it's not working. But if they were to have stuck to it, the whole market would have changed with them. So companies, please, VFC specifically, please, Deans or T connector and airsoft. Included in the box is going to be a Stanek style 120 round mid cap magazine and an M110 spring. Already installed into the gearbox is going to be an M120 spring to get you to the FPS limits of outdoor fields, but the M110 is included just in case you want to play indoors, so it'll bring you around the 350 FPS limit. So out of the box, the M6 does not include any iron sights. Why? I don't know, but we decided to accessorize the gun in honor of Call of Duty. But majority of players running with iron sights, the TAC laser, a mock suppressor, and a 16 round magazine, and it's disgusting. So we decided to do it a little bit more tastefully with the reflex sight and the commando grip. Okay, at least try to put the 16 round mag in. Just show them what it looks like. Hell no. Show them what they have created. <laughs> Dude, stop missed. tossing stuff, man. It's gross. It no. costs money. I don't care. That deserves to die. Oh. Oh, God. BFC, why don't you have any QD suppressor options? This is actually cool. This is disgusting. The MCX is going to be shooting around 380 to 390 feet per second with the rate of fire of about 19 BBs per second. All right, guys, enough talking. Let's shoot this thing. What's going on, you guys? We're here at the range with the SIG MCX. We are at about 150 foot distance right now. I'm gonna give my first impressions. We have it uh, zeroed 
the hop with 0.28 gram BBs. Uh, yeah, let's give it a test. All right. Oh, we are using an 11.1 Echo One Lipo as well. Okay, first off, very crisp, very, very snappy on the trigger response. The 11.1 and the Avalon motor do a great job of giving you that uh, good trigger response and very accurate. It is a little bit over hopping. We just kind of just dialed it in really quick, but uh, so far so good. Um, the controls on the gun are very familiar to the M4. Literally the selector switch, the magazine release, the uh, bolt catch, it's all there. Um, the stock does feel a little bit different. Uh, there, you don't have that, um, that cheek space for you to uh, get like a really positive cheek weld, but it's not that bad. The red fire on this. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, that's about 19 20 beams a second, which I think is uh, still a high rate of fire. Really nice. Um, at the 100 foot, uh, the 150 foot distance. I always hit the man size target really easily. No issues there. That's about the average distance for an outdoor field that I would say people would be engaging targets with. Um, I mean, just getting closer, the grouping is getting a little bit tighter, real easy. Yeah, really nice. I can hear the BBs digging off of the, the pole of, or the stand of the target there. Uh, let me just try headshots. A few flyers, but that was my fault. Honestly, I was kind of shaking the gun. But yeah, this gun is really accurate. Feels very nice. Uh, it is a little hefty, but it's not anything that isn't unmanageable. The weight is right at about the magazine. So it's, it's perfectly balanced right in the center, which is nice. Uh, you know, it's not too front heavy or back heavy. Um, yeah, overall, I really like this gun. It's very fun. I'm going to dump this bag. <laughs> yeah, this is very nice. The SIG Air Pro Force MCX Vertex is retailed for $400 at airsoftgi.com. Now, $400 is a little bit pricey, but it's still more affordable than the 416A5, and it's VFC. What do you expect? It's high quality. You know, you bring this out to the field, and it's kind of a flex. Not like minigun flex, but more of like a adult mature flex. Thank you for watching our video on the MCX by SIG Air. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Me personally, I really love the MCX. It's very comfortable feeling to me. It's very reminiscent of the M4, but much more spicy. Like I said before, it's a really big flex. Not a big flex. Just a nice, mature flex on the field. And I do love the fact that they chose VFC as their OEM because it's great internals and very solid externals. SIG Air, maybe an MPX? Huh? SIG? Yeah. Huh? Gas blowback MPX? Oh, BFC? Huh? 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 Let us know. See you guys there. Bottle of BBs, $15. Bism gun bag, $20. GI custom, $600. Dead rag. Well, technically they're free, but $0. Shooting your friends without getting arrested? Priceless. There are some things money just can't buy. But for everything else airsoft, there's Wombo Combo.